Hey everybody, this is Shelby with Bonnie with Board Games, here to do the final faction of Scythe. It's the Togawa Shogunate. They're kind of a purpley clan. So what I did, I started with some uh, Valspar Flat, kind of a lavender. I thought that would be a nice color to start it with. I got a couple of steps going ahead of time this time, just so we can speed this video up a little bit. Here's what the uh, figures look like with uh, just the lavender on there. The base color was more purple on the bottom. I primed the, the character that as well. Since they've got so much lavender on them, I thought it would be a little easier. But Citadel has an awesome uh, shade right here, the, the violet. So this is just priming it, then hitting it with violet. You watch the other videos, you know what to do. Just get a nice heavy wash of violet. Looks pretty good. And what I do next, I just get the uh, the metallic, dazzling metallic that I use on pretty much everything shiny, and hit the uh, the main body of the machine there. That's where we're gonna pick it up in the video. We're gonna hit it with a uh, Newland oil shade, dry brush a little Necron powder on there or a compound, and then we'll go on to the the leader of the clan. Just give you a quick up close shot again of those models. There's the primer. Here's with the violet shade. You just get a lot on there. The heavier spots are a little darker. Pretty sweet. And I just got more of a detail brush and my dazzling silver. And right around the cockpit I did just a really fine fine brush to hit that. And the rest of it, you know, there's some purple between. I didn't bother to get too crazy. I only had hit the rivets on the gears there, a couple little spots. But uh, next all we're going to do is hit it with our Newland oil. Alright, now we got our tub of Newland oil. We're just going to go pretty heavy on this. Hit it everywhere and you can kind of spread it around as you go. I like to just get a lot on there first. This brush I'm using got a tiny bit dried out. We'll make it work. If you guys aren't comfortable doing that tiny little detail work with the, the little silver brush, when you dry brush it, it'll get mostly there, even without doing that before all this. And this, the flat color I was using, you know, it kind of absorbs colors you put on a little bit so this gives it the nice more of a purple color of the faction since we've you know we put the violet on there and now we're just uh it's going to darken up that color a bit and you don't want a bright purple you don't want lavender either but this makes a nice color at the end of the day and i got plenty on here now and We'll just work it around and get to the next stage. Go ahead and look for spots, you know. Might be a little too dark for you. You can work it around. Alright, pretty much our last step is just to, for the base anyway, and just to dry brush on some dry necron compound just dab it and you want to wipe it mostly off you can do it on paper towel but i find sometimes easier just to do it on your thumb that's right there and if you'll notice it just gives the all the little bumps and stuff just a real nice highlight of silver and just go over the whole entire model with that and just make sure you got it pretty well off your brush and pretty well dry before you start doing it so you don't leave big streaks. But just brush over everything and make it real consistent. But you can see where it makes little stuff like that pop. You can see a few little bumps in the middle there. How they'll really start to pop once you dry brush them a little bit. But just go over the whole model like that and then do the base. Alright, for my base, I just hit it with a light, uh, kind of an off white acrylic. It's almost a gray. 
And I've done every base differently set, so I just went outside to my back of my house and got some dirt. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is uh, just sprinkle it in there and you let the, uh, the base acrylic paint be used as a glue because it's kind of got a little bit of a white snowy background. I'll just sprinkle all that stuff in there, kind of tap the model off, and that'll be the start of it. And I've got a little bit of a, I do drywall as a profession, so I've got some mud. I think I'm going to use a little bit of the dust to sprinkle on top of that dirt. I'll put a clear coat of that glue, just to have like some snow on top of that. But in future sets, something like this might be easier just to make every base the same since they're all fighting on the same giant map, but I liked doing this different because they all come from different regions, but that's just, you know, kind of an easy base to do, but it's different, a little bit different than all the others. Kind of like what I got going on with the dirt here. I'm going to dab just uh, some little bits of some matte medium which is just like a almost a little bit of an adhesive not really but anything will work on here and i've got some drywall mud crumbs that i can sprinkle on here but, uh, it's going to make some snow in there could use baking powder or whatever i suppose but i've got something stuck in the baggie here and, uh, hands a little bit. Get it wriggled on the base a little bit. Come over here. Got a dirt pile. Kind of got a little bit of snow effect to it. I'll put a little bit more on there. Here's one I did beforehand. I'll show you. I know what it looks like when it gets on there. It looks like it's kind of been tromping through the snow a bit. I went ahead and just got a purple and uh, just a cheap acrylic for the bottom of the base there. And I think these mechs are done. Hit them with clear coat. Put a Valspar primer, a violet shade, dazzling metallic. Some new and oil and a dry brush. Bada bing, bada boom. Akiko and her uh, monkey Jiro, I guess that's her names, have kind of the same color as the tanks on them a little bit. So I'm just going to hit them with that violet wash on on some of this just to get it started. In the picture, she's wearing a pantsuit. And model she has got a dress you know she's got a gun on her back not carrying it so let's take some creative liberties here not exactly she's got some like forearm armor on in the picture on the player board but here she doesn't just more like sleeves so I'll just do that. The monkey was wearing a shirt in the picture. Here he's got a backpack on. I just may go ahead and make the backpack uh, purple while we're at it. Some of the stuff she was wearing was black, which will cover a lot. slop that over her armor because that color will definitely cover this stuff up. Oh, forget her booty there. Alright, let's get the monkey purple backpack just for fun. Since he doesn't have his purple shirt. You can always 
change that later with a darker color, but for now, we'll just do it to keep the color out there. I think I'll go ahead and hit Jiro with a little bit of just plain old gray ink. Probably go over this with the Newland oil. Very similar to the uh, lavender that's on him already, really. But a little bit darker. get the idea on what I'm doing here. Next thing I did on the models, I just took some black ink, hit all the black stuff. It's a lot of fine detail work. I used a really fine, fine tip brush there. And I, it's too hard to film, so I just, you guys know what I'm doing here. This is the seventh video in this series, so. Pretty much just went over all her black. I hit the monkey with another coat of gray up there. Hit her shoes with black. And I ran across at the Hobby Lobby some really cool metallic ink here. So I'm trying that. I put a little bit on here on her uh, the spots on her sword. And the little spots there and a little piece on her hair. It's got a cool metallic look to it, but I'm going to have to make it a little more differentiated from our clothes. But that's that stage. Next, I'm just going to do the backpacks and our gun barrel in the picture is black also, so we'll hit brown next. I went ahead and filled in the part of her staff there with black. That's that might offset the outside. I used a couple different colors of brown. Just a lighter one there. A little darker one on that pouch. Same as here and here. I've got the lighter color there and darker, and I use the the brown ink on the gun and a little bit on the backpack. I think I'll hit all that brown with a wash, just to make it look worn a little bit. I went ahead and hit it with some seraphim sepia, gives it kind of nice definition to all that woodwork there. While I was at it, I went ahead and hit the the monkey's face with skin tone and also the gal. The monkey had just used the, uh, I don't know, flesh tint ink. And I used some Ushadi Bone, sure, from Citadel. And I'll hit those with both with the Reichlin flesh shade once they're dry here in a second. Okay. I went ahead and hit Reichlin flesh shade on her face and the monkey's face and her hands. I also went ahead and did the, the detailing of silver with the silver that I pretty much use for everything I get from Hobby Lobby. It's the Dazzling Metallics. It's a really good stuff for two bucks. So we got all that detailed out with silver. Even this, and there's some cross hatching on her swords. The picture it's just silver but i think i may need to go over that in a minute with black and i did hit just a slight dot 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 of white for their eyes so i'll do their pupils next but we're getting pretty dang close on being done went ahead and hit the eyes on the monkey and on the leader here took some black ink and did the little cross hatching on her uh, Hilts of her sword, a little bit of the purple ink there. Uh, hit him with some Newland oil, did the base while that was drying. I think I'm just going to dry brush her hair with some gray real quick and the monkey as well. And I think we'll be done with Scythe until the airships come out. Alright, and dry brushed uh, monkey with some 
long beard gray and as well her hair it kind of helps it show up better at a distance and uh, I think we're done. All right, this is final faction for Scythe done. Until the expansion comes out, the airships, right? Anyway, this is Shelby with Bonnie with Board Games. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you next time.